Okay, so here I am in Movie Maker, and I need to work on the um, project file that I was working on yesterday. And so I'm going to go over here to Recent Projects and click on JM Bridge or whatever you named it. There it is. I have both part one and part two, and um, and I have it all edited. But I need this as a uh, movie file, and I need it as a really small movie file. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to go scroll down and find the one that says Feature Phone Small. That's going to make it a teeny tiny file. So, um, tiny movie file because um, I already did it once, but there, let's replace it. Yes, let's replace it. Okay, so name it whatever, but it's actually a movie file, not a project file. And look at how fast it did that because it's small. So you can click open folder just to make sure you know where it went. Like mine always goes to the desktop um, when I'm doing it, um, but you can put it anywhere. Now we're going to go to a... Um, we're going to go and open, go online, and go to this, go to this um, website called Easy GIF Reverse Video, and it says Choose File. So we're going to click there, and we're going to choose the file that we just made. So I've got to get the tiny movie file, tiny one, and click OK. Now, I'm going to click Upload, and it shouldn't take that long to upload. If I look down here, it says it's about, it's going pretty fast. If you have a bar across that says something like there are cookies, you can click got it. Um, that's fine. But it's, it's uploading pretty quickly. Okay, so when it uploads, it just shows the video. And if you click on the video, it's going to be Legend is operating in forward. Properly. There we go. There we go. Okay. But we want it in reverse. So um, I'm going to say mute the sound because we don't need to hear the sound in reverse. And I'm going to click reverse, the blue button. Now, see this kitty cat down here? Um, she's reversing my video. And it will not take that long. Okay, so here's the video, and it's small. But if we watch it, um, you can see over here that the video, the bridge is going to pop back together. It's going to go right up. And so we know that's the reversed one, so it looks good. So I'm going to go over here. I need to save the video. Now it's not going to let me. Um, it's not going to let me decide where to put it. It automatically um, saves it in downloads. And here it is. It's always named Easy GIF Reverse MP4. It's that's what yours is going to be named too. But I'm going to open up Movie Maker, and now I'm going to add that video. So I'm going to go up to Add Videos and Photos. I'm going to go and get that one and post it, or I mean, and add it. And, you know, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to hit Control Z. Make sure your cursor, the video cursor, is all the way at the end. And then hit Add Video and full, and or Photos, and then add it, just to make sure it goes in the right spot. So if I watch here, this is when it fell. There we go, Kristen. And here is when it's going to pop back up. And we took out the sound, because we don't need it to go backwards. So I know that I've got it forwards and backwards now. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to say Save Movie, because this is the one I want to turn in. And you can save it for email, or you can save it for a computer, but the smaller, the faster it's going to go. And I'm going to do JM Video Final, which is what I named it when I was practicing, but I'll replace it. And so now it's saving. I'm going to... Um, and it's going to save to my desktop. And if I'm not sure, I can always say open folder. And there it is right here. And I can take that um, file and take that to Google Classroom. Good luck.